All new at 6 o'clock, this is a desperate call for help from a community food bank. They are saying that they are seeing more need than ever before. WBZ's Mike Sullivan is in Lawrence with the ways that you can help. Okay. What you see here is all that remains. A few bins of food, a few tossed tortillas. This is what the Bread and Roses food pantry has left to keep up with demand. I'd say right now we're at over a thousand percent from last year at this time. Their customers are limited to a number of items. Their waiting room, a limited number of seats. You're running out of chairs in your line. Yes. To keep people fed. I started two and a half years ago. We used to do uh, about 20 pantry orders a month. Now we do over 100 a day. Their reserves in the basement are being depleted as we speak. Two and a half years ago, these shelves were stocked to the point that not only were all the shelves stocked, but they were stocked all the way to the ceiling. Last month, they served 140,000 pounds of food in Lawrence. 40,000 came from their backup inventory. That was the first time ever that we've had to dip into our inventory since 1980. Since 1980? Yes, since we opened. To keep up, they must reach out to nearby businesses. Executive Director Jessica Peralt Gordon calls it rescuing food. What does it mean to rescue food? So businesses throw away food that's very close to its expiration date, and then most of them benefit because they also receive a, a tax write-off for it. Some of that food goes toward dinners they serve five nights a week. The food that used to go to that service now often ends up in the pantry. We just had a huge food drive from the Eagle Tribune, um, so we're in the process of putting that inventory away, so that will help us a little bit, but that will be gone in a week. They expect the need to only grow as the season continues. In Lawrence, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News. Wow, there is obviously a huge need out there, and people do want to fill it, so I'm sure after seeing that, Absolutely. people will respond. And you can see why there would be such an issue. Anybody, no matter how much money you have, you go to the grocery store, you see these bills, and you can say, how can everyone afford this? So right. expensive.